Hi, we are Chuan, Victor, and Kinan of Lab Three Team One. Our robot is called Wally Two Point Zero Two One, and it is a small robot with three D printed parts powered by an ESP thirty two. Wally is a fully autonomous robot, and he is capable of climbing a string using a rotating barrel. He has three different onboard sensors to map out the entire path. Here was our plan for the path it was going to take. The robot begins its journey by pressing PB1, and then it will drive the correct path to find the rope. Once the rope has been found, the limit switch will touch the door, which then activates the barrel, and it starts turning. Once the robot has reached the top, the limit switch will be pressed again. When it touch the door handle, and then ten seconds will pass. The robot will then descend. So here, the LEDs show the state of the barrel motor, and the blue LED shows that the barrel motor is still running, which will keep it at the top. And once ten seconds has passed, it will go back down. So this is my robot, where it was not that successful. The main reason is due to the lack of time to perfect and tune the small details of the code in the robot. There are two mechanisms overarching our robot: the driver and the climbing mechanism. As you can see from my video, each mechanism works on its own pretty well, and combining these two together was the hardest part, and that's where I fell in. I am able to complete the driver and climb mechanism separately. In the end, using multiple sensors actually created more problems for the robot due to the complexity in the code. Thus, we went with the hard coding the path of the robot and was successful in helping the robot to find the string. However, this came with more consistency issues. The main problem with our robot still resides in the fundamental problem of it not being able to drive straight. In the future, we hope to improve the encoder code and implement a PID loop that will hopefully drive the robot straighter. We also hope to properly utilize sensors such as the IR sensor to further ensure consistency.